Okay, Bob and Mrs. Conrad, thank you for coming. Um, and congratulations for coming to this mediation session. Uh, I think it's very positive that you both have come here. I think it's a good sign that you're willing to work things out together. Um, before we start, there's just a few things I'd like to go over. Uh, just to tell you exactly what mediation is. It's basically just a facilitated conversation between both of you. Uh, and I'm basically just here uh, not to propose solutions or decide who's right or wrong, but to um, basically help you, you guys, come to an agreement between yourselves um, that's satisfying and to both of you so that you can move on and put this incident behind you. Um, just also like to say um, that this, anything that goes on in this mediation process is confidential if you'd like it to be. Um, Anything that gets discussed here can remain here just between the three of us. Um, and so, what are you guys' feelings about that? Do you wish this to remain confidential? Uh, personally, I'm okay with it being made public at a later date if it's necessary. Yeah, I agree with that as well. Okay, so confidentiality is not a big deal for you guys? Yeah. All right. No. Um, <coughs> and so, you guys both have, uh, you're both able to negotiate on your own, there's no one you need to call or get authority to make decisions for you or anything like that? No. 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 Okay. <coughs> All right, um, and then so before we start, I'd like to identify one ground rule that always comes up, and that's that it's very important in this process that if someone's talking, that they're allowed to finish what they said, what they're saying, they can fully express themselves before the other person talks. We can both agree that that's what yes. we observed? Okay. <laughs> All right then, um, in that case, um, oh and also, I think before you came here, I, uh, you both got the, um, the uh, contract, the agreement to the mediation agreement, mm -hmm. did you sign that? Yes. Yes. Five by that? Yes. All right. Excellent. So in that case, I think we're ready to begin, uh, but in order to begin, we have to, uh, you guys have to really uh, identify what it is you're here to talk about so we can stick to discussing that. And so, if one of you would like to go first and just say why you're here, do you want to like to start? Sure, I can start. All right, with you, Ms. Is Cranston? Conrad. Conrad, I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, well, uh, it's really uh, pretty simple. I was, uh, you know, I was at a party and uh, trying to get back to the, <coughs> to, to the, uh, to the house with a bunch of friends, and <clears throat> while I was climbing the fence, it uh, it gave way and fell, and I got my foot caught in the fence, and uh, so my buddies they had to uh, you know, they had to help out and whatnot to get me free, and then we uh, we were just about to leave, and the fence had come down, and <clears throat> Miss Conrad here came out and uh, pulled me aside. She uh, she asked me to pay for the damage that had been done, so I, I said uh, okay, and then I get a uh, Notice that it's going to be uh, like 450 bucks, and uh, it just seemed like a heck of a lot of money. You know, I'm a student, I don't have too much money, so I, uh, you know, I was a little bit hesitant to just agree to that. And uh, so it's basically, basically why we ended up here, I guess. So it sounds like you're here because uh, there's an incident with the fence, <coughs> um, and but you're concerned that you won't be able to pay for it. Yeah, yeah, I, don't, I just I can't come up with that kind of cash. Right. Do you say what you're uh, Yes, I was out on my back porch when um, Bob and his other friends uh, came through the yard, and of course I witnessed the event, and I approached uh, the gentleman that got his foot caught, and he said he was willing to pay for it, but when I called him, he did not agree to that, and um, I was very frustrated because um, he's lucky that I didn't have him arrested for what happened. Um, so the, his college called and asked me to meet, and here I am, and I've got um, an estimate as well that shows that it's an accurate estimate for the repairs. So. All right, so it sounds like 
you're here because you are concerned that your fence has been damaged yep. and, and you need it repaired. Yes. All right, so it sounds to me like what you guys are here to talk about is basically just uh, how you're going to deal with this whole problem with the fence. Is that sound right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Excellent then. Um, so, Mrs. Connor, you said that you were frustrated uh, about, about Bob's response. Can you talk a little bit more about that? Well, um, I'm not sure how I could have been more clear. I'm not trying to rip him off. It's the cost of the fence and the labor to build the fence. And because I live alone and I'm not able to repair the fence myself, it's just sitting there and there's not much else I can do besides get it repaired. <laughs> so the, 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 pen, the fence being repaired is important to you? Yes, it? absolutely. Bob, do you have anything to say about, uh, about this? Well, I just, I, I just, we just need to find a solution that 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 that, uh, that uh, doesn't require me to fork over four hundred and fifty bucks. So, what is it about about four hundred fifty dollars that I just don't problem. have it as a, as a student? You know, like it's it's tight, uh, you know, day to day. It's uh, you know, sometimes a lot of uh, not a lot of cash flow. In there. So, and so just going back to something you said, you said you felt it was lucky, he should feel he's lucky that he didn't get arrested. Um, why, why, why is that? Well, I mean, it was the middle of the night and it was trespassing and vandalism and, you know, I felt like it was reasonable of myself to just have a personal agreement with Bob, which he agreed to, so. So th is that important to you, someone, that someone agrees to something that they... Yes, definitely. You know, I felt very, you know, at the time, it was upsetting, but I felt um, fairly calm about it because he agreed to pay for it, and then, and then I ended up getting quite frustrated because now he won't. <laughs> All right, so it seems, sounds like it's important to you that if someone says they're going to do something that they carry through. Yes. Yeah. So it's important that you can trust someone. And trust their word, definitely. Uh, Bob, so you said you did agree yeah, uh, did, yeah. to pay. <clears throat> well, uh, I mean, you know, it's like, you know, can't deny that I didn't just get my foot caught in fence and it fell over. I, it, it happened and I, you know, I felt you know, kind of bad that you ruined this lady's fence. So I agreed to, to, to you know, have it fixed, but had no idea it would cost so much. Do you feel it's important? Uh, in so you say you agreed to have it fixed. So why why did you agree to have it fixed? Well, uh, you know, you know, I felt bad, and I, I couldn't just you know run away from it or anything like that. So you know, it was just. So you, so you say, say you couldn't run away from it. So it sounds to me like you uh, perhaps perhaps felt a little bit responsible <coughs> for it and. Um, that it's maybe important to you to um, take responsibility for your actions. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That sounds pretty good. I mean, I. Yeah. I agree with that. Okay. So it sounds like both of you. Uh, it's important for both of you that uh, people take are accountable for their actions. That's. Uh, does that seem right? Yeah. Yeah. That's fair. Okay. All right. Well, I think that. Uh, I think that's something that we should put a uh, flag that we both agree that it's important that people are accountable and 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 uh, that when they say they do something that they that they do it. Um, so given that, uh, given the importance to both of you that uh, of people taking responsibility and your need for defense to be uh, repaired and your uh, inability to pay at the cost that uh, Mrs. Uh, Conrad has come up with. Uh, I think that maybe it's time for, uh, for you guys to maybe try and come up with some ways uh, 
to solve this issue and move past it. Anyone, uh, do you have any ideas? Well, can I speak? You said um, it. Right. Uh, as I mentioned before, I live alone and I'm just not entirely uh, physically able to repair the fence. And you know, when my husband was alive, he probably would have um, done a lot, could have done some of the work himself. And so uh, it might help cut some costs down if Bob were to help with some of the labor. Because the, the quote I got was for the materials as well as the labor. And so if he were to be able to help with some of the labor, maybe that would. So it's not necessarily that you want him to pay the money. It's, it's that you're unable to fix the fence. Yes, because that is the money it would cost me to get it fixed and needs to get fixed and I have no other means to have that done. So Bob, do you have anything to say regarding that? Well, uh, <laughs> you know, I'm not terribly skilled with a handwind saw, but I you know, I would be willing to put to put some hours in. I, I think uh, you know, maybe uh, <clears throat> if it was if there was someone there to help me or something like that, I could I could maybe do that. Yeah. Yeah, I, so let's talk more about that. What uh, you say is someone there to help you? Well, I, I don't know. I could ask around and see if anybody I know maybe has some construction experience or something, and then you know I could ask them to sort of make sure that when the, you know while, while I'm doing things that it's proper and whatnot. Okay. You mentioned you were some some friends. Uh, have you spoken to them at all? Yeah, not very much, you know. But um, but now that you mentioned it, I you know I guess I could. Uh, I could ask those guys too and see if they, you know, if they want to help a little bit. Uh, you know, maybe they could even chip in some money. What, what are your thoughts on that? Yeah, I mean, as long as um, the fence gets repaired, it's, you know, that that seems right because they were also involved. It wasn't just you that that jumped over the fence. So um, I guess it would depend on what they have to say, but that that seems reasonable. All right. You guys are really on your way to some sort of an agreement here, so I think maybe it's time for me to just step back and, and um, just because you seem so close to, to working this out. So, uh, well, congratulations, guys. That was really well 